You mad at me? Because I didn't plan it like you told me to? Okay, he mad at me. I <laughs> uh... think he's supposed to drink the juice and then eat it. I think he's. Okay, after taking a three hour nap, we're at this place. You took a three hour nap. Okay. We're at Ontario Airport. Flying to Napa for our anniversary. There's Jim. Jim, say hi to the vlog. It is so dead at this airport and half of the, pretty much all the restaurants are closed. It's like 6.50 p.m. It's like 6 p.m. We board at 6.50. No, we leave at 6.50, so we board in like 20 minutes, thank God. The flight is only an hour 25. till one o'clock we just got in late and we had to go find food last night and it was only like three options mcdonald's jack-in-the-box and um in and out so we chose jack-in-the-box didn't want that but it was okay but anyway so now it's like 12 noon almost 12 30 and we're trying to rush to this farmer's market that closes at one okay so we kind of planned poorly last time we came to napa napa of course it was like no covid at all right years ago so we would just come up here and wine hop right like winery hop or whatever go from winery to winery now we realize you have to make reservations we don't have any reservations so we are well we did find one for tomorrow at this winery um called layered estate winery we've been there before we want to go back so we made a reservation for that tomorrow everything else like mostly everything else you have to have a reservation so we're bummed we're we're like what are we going to do what are we going to do right babe mm -hmm. you mad at me because i didn't plan it like you told me to okay he mad at me because i didn't plan it but it's all good we're gonna find something to do so we'll probably my husband likes to go to actual wineries where he can see the vineyard I'm fine with either we can do that or we can go to a tasting room so there are some tasting rooms that don't require reservations namely the Housley um, uh, tasting room and that is Tamara Housley from Tian Tamara her and her husband have a tasting room so we might go by there right now we're going to the um, the farmers market there's another winery that does not take reservation that doesn't that accepts walk-ins and it's called Artisa. We've been there before too. We might go back there. Um, tomorrow is more planned because we already have the winery reservation at the one place and then we have a massage. So tomorrow is going to be a little better than today. But although today's going to be good too. I feel that it's going to be good. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, I was just thinking in my head, we'll just kind of fly by the seat of our pants and then I get up here and realize you can't do that no more. We are living in a you know c-o-v-i-d world and we have to act accordingly so anyway i will get back with you guys later we are walking downtown napa i don't think there's too much in here Yeah. My husband is a candy addict. He puts these dogs on sweet tarts. 
in his pocket so that he could bring it. Leaving the Housley tasting room, walking back across. Look at this, this is really pretty, right? Okay, we came back to the car to hydrate. Now I'm going to go get my oysters. Um, I have brought some water in here, so I'm drinking it. people up here with little kids I'm like if we had little kids would we bring them here but I guess so if that was like their only option Oof, I got my water that's all you need I probably need more than that but I have to use the restroom now mm. well, drink it you got to use the restroom I am, anyway I am I am I am They got three little kids. They all look like the same age. Mm. Except for the little bit. Maybe that ain't the, oh that's not their kid. The other one oh, ain't their yeah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> She's just coming over to say hi, right, huh? Oh, and it's not that cold. I thought it would be colder, but it's not. So it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some oysters and I need some french fries. Then we're gonna go back to the room area because there's a tasting room that's by the hotel. Um, and then what are we doing tonight? Eating dinner. Where? I don't know yet. We What's the name of the place? I don't know. You made the reservation? Trans Something. Trans I don't know. Some type of like steakhouse. We'll see. But the Housley room was really, really nice, you guys. If you come to Napa, go there. Like, the customer service is really, really good. Owen. Owen, Edgar, Mosley. and Moses. Owen, Edgar, and Moses. Like, they are just... The music select selection was great. It was, like, old um, R&B. It was just good. It was just good. We did the five tastings. Um, I put it on Yelp. But it was good. It was just a nice little atmosphere. We actually parked at this Oxbow Public Market and we walked over there. We didn't really know. We didn't even know it was over there. But we were like, um, we just kind of looked it up and we realized it was close. So we went. Five minute walk. It was like a five minute walk. So now we're going to go in the Oxbow Mar uh, Public Market and get some oysters. Well, at least I am because Jim's not going to eat those. But I've never tried oysters, and I want to try it. So we'll do that, and then we'll go back to the room, and we will bring you along.
assortment of different oysters? Yeah, it's, a, it's an assortment, but I just don't know. You know the different kinds? Do not know. But so you're just going to eat them all? Yeah, we're just going to try it. Yes. You know how to eat them? I'm about to chew them. The fries are good. I just have garlic fries. Isn't there juice in it? I think you're supposed to ju uh, drink the juice and then do the rest. I don't know. Maybe I should put some of the sauce on top. What kind of sauce is that? I don't know. I don't think you do it like that. I think you're supposed to drink the juice. And then eat it. I think he's supposed to. What does it taste like? Good. Is it? I think he's supposed to drink the juice. I think he's supposed Jim, to drink Jim, you're not trying them. You don't know. I'm telling you what to do. I could be a coach. <clears throat> okay. And then eat it out. Yeah. Eat out the thing. I think he's supposed to put it like put it in your mouth as you're drinking it. That's what I saw the other guy do. Well, I don't know how to do it, but I know I like the te I like the taste because they taste really fresh. So I'm down for oysters. Y'all, we went to um, Ben and Jerry's, and I got this Colin Kaepernick flavor called Change the World or Change the World. Anyway, it's really, really good. It's like like graham crackers and I don't know what's in this thing, but it's non-dairy, caramel and I don't know, but it's non-dairy, it's really, really good. Now we headed back to the room and we have dinner reservations, but we don't know if we gonna make them, we so full. Well, is it at 7.30? Mm, we'll see how we feel in an hour. It's five o'clock right now, so we'll see. Okay, after taking a three hour nap, we're at this place. You took a three hour nap. Okay, and how long did you sleep? Only an hour, probably. He said he only slept an hour. Anyway, well, I don't know. I was, I guess I was asleep. It was the wine. Anyway, we're at this place called Dutch Brothers Coffee, and we are in the drive through. Um, because this line is, look at this line. I guess they don't have a walk up. But anyway, when I woke up, I was like, can you see that Dutch Brothers coffee? When I woke up, um, when I woke up, I was saying how I wanted a smoothie and Jim was like, I want one too. We had dinner plans, but we ended up canceling them because, um, we have leftovers. Oh, we got leftover food. Okay. I think I'm going to get a strawberry smoothie. I'm going to look at their menu. I'm gonna take orders right here. He's oh, let me hurry up. up. Okay, the guy gonna come over and take the order. Oh, shoot. All right. Which button can I click for y'all? Um, you could do 15%. 15, please. Thank you. And it's 1369. How's y'all stay then? It's good. good. <laughs> How about yours? It's good. All right, going. Good to hear. Um, All right, I'm safe. I didn't give you guys a tour of this room. So you walk in, <clears throat> you have your washer and dryer and like that little closet. This way is the, it's messy now. It's very messy, but like the little kitchen area, full kitchen, um, the living room, we bought our fire stick. So we are going, the Tinder Swindler. Oh, I heard about that. Okay, we're gonna watch Netflix, but we're gonna finish Ozark. That's what we'll be watching. This is the bedroom. And the bathroom is, we got a nice little jacuzzi we'll be using later. And then here's the bathroom. Excuse the mess, but you get the idea. And there's me with my hair down now, or with my hat off. I packed really well for this trip. I brought like three outfits and I was like, this is it. This is what you're wearing each day. And I ain't no options. Because I did not want to, we flew up here. 
and I didn't want to be checking in a um, suitcase, so this is it right here. That's my little suitcase. All right, we're gonna watch Ozark.